Hello. Back again. This will be the last part um, in the James series. It's crazy to think um, that however long ago I started this, uh, that I'd actually get through the whole book of James. Um, I wouldn't think that would even happen. It's crazy. Uh, but here we are. The last portion, um, the last section of James 5. And this is it. The whole book. So before we do that, let's pray. Before we get into it. Jesus, thank you for the word. For your blessings, for what you do. This has been awesome. It's been really cool. Of diving into and looking at what you have for us in James. This cool, great book. Um, and Jesus, help us not be it. That there is, uh, in fact, something after James. That wherever we might be taken, whatever it might be, that we... Um, would study it, that we would dive in, that we would find new things with your help, with your guiding. Thank you so much, Jesus, for all that you do. We pray this in your name as we study. Amen. So, last, last portion here, James 5. This is the power of prayer. It's a good thing to end on. Good thing to end on. So James 5, verse 13 says, Are any of you suffering hardships? Yes. A lot. A lot of us are. There's a lot of hardships. There's a lot of crazy and th insane things going on right now. And many hardships for so many people. Says so you should pray. Are any of you suffering hardships? You should pray, period. Are any of you happy? Sure, sometimes. Definitely. You should sing praises, period. Are any of you sick? That's a little too close to home, isn't it? Wow. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Um, maybe in a context of something that's not so contagious. <laughs> yeah, if any of you are sick, still, if any of you are sick, pray. If any of you know of anyone who's sick, pray. If any of you are happy, pray. Sing praises. Rejoice in it. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you'll be forgiven. That's what our Bible tells us. That if, if you pray, if you confess these things to Jesus, Jesus is right and just to forgive you, right? that he will forgive you. Verse 16, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. There is so much power in prayer. It's amazing. And yes, be earnest in your prayers. Be passionate in your prayers. Be faithful in your prayers. But don't pray necessarily to expect something to be solved, right? Because we don't pray for the results. We don't pray for things to be magically changed and, and, and happen uh, because we want them to, right? We pray because we need it, and we need God's guiding and blessing. That's why we pray. It says, Elijah was a human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall 
none fell for three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sky went down. The sky sent down, excuse me, rain, and the earth began to yield its crops. So a man of insane faith, like Elijah, he prayed this prayer of, hey, no rain. And prayed again, hey, give us rain. It came down. Unfortunately, we are not um, Elijah. And so all of our prayers will not be perfectly answered like that. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't pray. We should. We should. Because we need to be asking, praying earnestly to God for these things so that we can stay close to him. We need to pray to stay close. But God isn't some genie still, right? I always have to keep that in the back of my mind when I pray for things that, that I feel like God needs to intervene in and, God, and things need to happen. I have to keep it in this context that, okay, God, yes, I'm going to pray to you because I want to be faithful to you, but I understand that I'm not just coming to you for you to, you know, grant me wishes. I don't want to come to you for that. Hmm. And so it finishes saying, My dear brothers and sisters, if someone among you wanders away from the truth and is brought back, you can be sure that whoever brings the sinner back will save that person from death and bring about the forgiveness of many sins. That's what it's about. That we who are, who are in this community, we're in this relationship with Jesus, that we want so desperately to bring so many others in it with us. Because we want them to know the truth that, that we've seen that Jesus saves. So that's what it's about. Really, that just summed up so much. That we are to bring those in. All to know what we've been shown, the grace and the love of Jesus. That the name could be forgiven for all these things they've done that doesn't matter. And they can be saved and be kept from death. Get from death. That's crazy. All we know is death. But with Jesus, in this relationship with him, we don't have to experience that. Not anymore. Not anymore. Wow. Well, but before I say anything, let's pray. Jesus, thank you. This was such a cool thing. Uh, I've never done anything like it before, but it was amazing. Uh, there's so many things in this incredible book of James. Um, they're so applicable to us now. So very applicable to us. So Jesus, we just ask that you would continue to pour out these things to us that we can continue to look back and to see and say, oh, yes. Let me live by these teachings, these, these things of guidance that have been passed down again and again and again. Lord, thank you. Thank you so much. Please be with us all. Send us with your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow. Whole book. Five chapters. All down. Thank you. This has been really, really cool. Um, not sure what book uh, to do next. I'd love suggestions in the comments. Um, you have my number, my email. Text them, send me an email, let me know. 
Um, I'm not sure what to, to go into next. We'll see. Maybe I'll just let it simmer and see if God just points out another book to me right away like he did with James. <laughs> but again, thank you so much, everyone. This has been really fun, really cool. Um, I hope to continue it, maybe with a different book. Um, but we'll see. Thank you again.